What's up, everybody? Um, welcome back if you're joining me uh, for this video. Um, today I'm gonna do something a little different. Uh, it's something that I've been using for a couple weeks now and I think it's a very good device and I wanted to share it with you guys in case you're having a similar issue that I am and you want something that works like this product does. Um, so uh, I, on top of diabetes, I do have an enlarged part of my heart um, that has me taking some medication to slow my heart rate. So on top of that, um, I sometimes have an, high, uh, an elevated uh, blood pressure. Um, I often have white coat syndrome, as it's called, where my blood pressure uh, is a little higher when I go to a doctor because I'm nervous. Uh, my endocrinologist, I've been seeing her for years, so that's typically not the case with them. I've kind of gotten used to everybody in the office. So um, today we're going to talk about the within things, um, with things, however you want to say it, um, uh, BPM Connect uh, blood pressure cuff. Uh, I'll show the box on the other side of the camera here in a second um, so you guys can get a clear picture. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so here are the box, um, the Withings uh, BPM Connect Smart uh, Blood Pressure Monitor. Um, kind of talks about a couple different things on the box. Um, it's clinician approved. It works with Apple Health. Um, it's available. The app is available on the App Store and Google Play, um, and it also works with Google Fit. So just kind of show you guys around the box here. Um, when you open the box, it does have this little fold up package. And then inside of this little box comes the USB cable and then it would be the blood pressure cuff and the instruction manual. Um, I have not charged mine yet. I've had it for two or three weeks now um, and I just haven't need the need to charge it, but it does use a micro USB. Um, and then you have to have a USB port to charge it. So uh, when I keep mine in my bag, I typically roll it up like this just to kind of protect the um, inside piece. But it's easy to just kind of roll out. Um, the blood pressure cuff itself only has one button on it. Um, you will have to download the Withings um, HealthMate app uh, and it'll pair the device uh, It'll pair the device to the app, and um, that's how you kind of set up your user profile and tell it some information about you. And it does pair with your mobile phone through Bluetooth. Um, the blood pressure cuff itself is a very good quality. I really enjoy using it. Um, so when you typically have it on, you would put it on the center of your arm uh, like this, and then you're going to press the button once to kind of wake it up, you'll get the little plus. And then I have mine to take my blood pressure three times and it gives me the average. So when I press the button again, it's gonna start going one out of three. I am gonna stop it. Um, oops, it actually started. Uh, uh, it takes my, so it takes my uh, blood pressure three times and then it, the reading that it provides is kind of the average of the three. Um, I do this because when I put it on, it kind of makes me a little tense and nervous. Um, and I found that my readings for one time blood pressure checks were a little higher um, than they should have been. So I've been doing the average and then the readings have been a little bit more like normal. Um, I do have some elevated readings, uh, but with this it's not that bad. Um, I am going to put it on and kind of show you guys how it works um, and why it's going and then I'll just kind of talk about some of the, the things that I like about it. So I got it placed on my arm. Let me pair, pivot down here. Um, button at the bottom. I'm going to press it once to wake it up and press it again. I get one out of three so it's going to get started. So um, as it checks, uh, I do have a coworker who also wants to monitor their blood pressure. So he set up the app and paired the cuff to his app. And what it does is it'll do the reading. And once the reading is done, it will scroll a name across the screen. So if it is my reading and my name comes across first, then I can quickly press the button that accepts the reading for myself. And if it's his reading, I press and hold the button for two seconds and it will switch to his name. And then we can quickly press the button and it will send the reading to his app. 
Um, I do like the way that the app collects all the data. It makes it very easy for the user to see the data and review it. And the best part about it to me is I was collecting my blood pressure readings to send to a doctor. So I clicked the option to share the readings with the doctor and for the time frame, and it types it all up in an email. Very easy to read, and I can send a whole week's worth of data to the doctor in one email. Um, that's truly the, the biggest thing that I like about it was that and the ability to be able to do that. Um, the app itself is writing all of my blood pressure data into the health app uh, on my iPhone. Um, it'll do the same thing for uh, Samsung Health, I believe is what it's called. Um, or I don't know if it'll work in any other like uh, Android health apps, but um, I do know that it is working very well um, within my uh, Apple Health. And it does collect data from other apps within Apple Health. So it does get my steps and all that other information from my Apple Watch and writes it into the HealthMate app. Um, you also can compare, or it's not fair, you also can link other health apps within the HealthMate app, so that way it'll also collect data from those. So if you're very active and you want to collect all of your health data, your blood pressure and all that stuff together, you can. Um, the blood pressure cuff is now on the third um, reading, so as that finishes up, I am going to touch on the other product that I have. I do have their Smart Scale. Um, I have been using it. It also collects all the data within their app. Um, the scale, however, is connected to my home's Wi-Fi. So when I step on it and I use it, it will sync through the Wi-Fi to my app, which I do enjoy. Um, if you guys want, I can um, talk about the scale in a different video. Uh, the blood pressure cuff, though, it does sync through Bluetooth and it does take a couple minutes to get the reading to the app, um, but you can read the reading on the display um, once it's finished. So that's something that I think is pretty cool. So um, anyway, this is just something a little different that I thought um, would be beneficial to some, and I really enjoyed using this so far. It is finishing up the last reading now. So let's see what it says. Okay, so my blood pressure is a little elevated. It's 145 over um, 80. Um, I did just take, and my heart rate is 86. So I did just take my medication. Um, I'm a little late since I'm adjusting my sleep schedule for work. So I'm gonna chalk that up to um, that. Um, you can see that the my coworker's name is going across the screen. So I'm pressing hold and now it's saying Justin. No, it says guest, sorry. Press and hold again. And then there you go, there's Justin. So when I click it, it gives me the check mark and then it's gonna start syncing that data to the app and then I'll get a check mark that it was sent. And then the app will display the data um, as soon as it gets it and add it into my collection. So if you take multiple readings throughout the day, it'll kind of average what your readings were for the day um, and then kind of give you an idea of how things are going. If you don't know much about your blood pressure, it does have some information in the app to kind of tell you. Um, what the numbers mean, uh, stuff like that, which I've, I've found has been helpful. So I kind of hope you guys enjoy this. I know this is my first kind of product review. Um, I'm a little bit of an amateur on those, so uh, bear with me. Um, if you kind of liked it, let me know, and I will try to share other health-related devices that I do have currently at home. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, you can give me the thumbs down. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It truly helps uh, my videos get out there to everybody, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.